My name is Ken Taylor. I'm a pastor at Creekside Church in Waterloo. I'm a grateful follower of Jesus who's recovering in the area of pride. Of course, as soon as I tell you that I'm recovering in the area of pride, you really know that I am because pride is kind of that word you use to mask all the real problems. So I told you my problem and I proved it all at the same time. God has been good as I've been working in this area and I'm seeing some great life change in, in me as a result of what he's doing. I am a huge fan of Celebrate Recovery. About five years ago, our church joined up with another church in town called Lincoln Road Chapel. And together, we have seen God use us in tremendous ways to see life change in the hearts of men and women. It has been nothing short of amazing. The first reason I'm a big fan of Celebrate Recovery is because Celebrate Recovery by its very nature is open and vulnerable. It's a place where you can't pretend. You gotta take the masks off and you've gotta be open. And when you do that, there is an intimacy that happens. There is a health that you experience with other people. And what happens in Celebrate Recovery has touched down in our whole church. About a year ago, we did a series in the summer that we called Breakout. And Breakout was a series that was rooted in the eight principles of Celebrate Recovery, and those are founded and built upon the Beatitudes. And so each Sunday we dealt with one of those principles. We taught it here in our, our church. And what happened was that as we did that, we would bring in members of Celebrate Recovery to come along and share their testimonies of how that particular principle was working in their lives. Well, the result was that as they became open and vulnerable, the people in our congregation became the same. And there, this openness and this transparency just began to have a ripple effect. We think that that series may have been the best series in the history of our church. Because what took place then was that more and more openness and vulnerability, people stopped pretending. And that created a healthy intimacy that we experienced between one another. It's been a great ride. And God has been continuing to allow us to be open and vulnerable with one another. And it's when you do that, that you then begin to experience the opportunity for growth and for health and for coming more and more like Jesus. Acceptance, honesty, openness, vulnerability, that's what makes a church healthy. The second reason I'm a big fan of Celebrate Recovery is because of counseling. I am not a good counselor. I don't even like doing counseling. And so sometimes when people come into our, my office and they'll want me to help them, I just wanna say, stop it. And then, you know, who's next? Or else I'll say to them, uh, can I refer you to somebody else? <laughs> but when Celebrate Recovery came along, it just changed the way that I responded to counseling sessions. But what was happening is that those two letters, CR, were coming across my mind. And I was realizing, I can send these people, I can recommend to them that they go to Celebrate Recovery. And I believe that that ministry will just be such a huge help to them. I don't know the difference between baby powder and cocaine or crystal meth and breath mints. So I'm kind of out of touch with all of this. But what I do know is that Celebrate Recovery has people who understand that world. And so when people come with drug addictions or alcoholism or sexual addictions, I know that they can go to Celebrate Recovery and experience people who will help them. Not only that, but if they're struggling with pride like I do or anger or identity issues, there's people there who love them and will come alongside and help them. And so there is this confidence that I'm able to have to say to people, here is a place where you can go. And we have seen God do some ridiculously amazing things. Marriages have been restored. People who are in addictions have been experiencing freedom. People who have been struggling with who they are and in relationships have discovered that God has done some just incredible things in their lives. There's miracles happening all the time. And we have seen men and women put their faith in Jesus Christ and discover forgiveness and the joy of what it means to be guilt-free as God embraces them as their Savior. The third reason that I'm a big fan of Celebrate Recovery could be put this way. If someone was to say to me, show me Jesus, I know that the first place I wouldn't go would be to walk them on our church campus or to even bring them to a weekend service. One of the first places I would take them would be to Celebrate Recovery. I'd take them to a place where they could see some people who accept one another some people who welcome them, some people who love them. And we would sit down on Thursday night and watch and listen and interact with people who are like the hands and feet of Jesus. 
They would sense his love. They would sense that he, he wants to come along and help them. They would just know there that this is what Jesus was like and what Jesus is doing in people's lives. And I believe as a result of that, there would be change and a draw that they would experience. Celebrate Recovery is like the hands and feet and heart of Jesus. It's the words of Jesus that you hear over and over again. And it's the place, one of the first places, that I would take people, and I believe that they would experience a powerful touch from God at that place. I am a big fan of Celebrate Recovery, and I think if you check it out, you'll become one too.